Hello and welcome, I'm Radioactive really Parax, and I am here to play Kerbal Space Program. So, today we're going to attempt to get into an orbit. Now, this is very unlikely due to me have not been able to get into orbit before, but I have a feeling that today I will crash and die as usual. So, I'm going to start out with this cockpit, and I'm going to add a very large uh, three very large uh, fuel tanks onto it, and we we'll build off from there. So, now that we have that, I'm going to go underneath and attach a uh, large engine. Now that we have that, I need to add some structural. There we go. Radial decoupler. That would probably work pretty well, I'd say. Hmm. I guess it should be fine. If I put it down to here, then I'll take. There it is. Okay, so I'll take a fuel tank. Uh, the fuel tank I will use is this one, if I could even click it. Yeah, that... That'd probably be good. I'll lift this up a little. Okay, next we're going to need some more engines. A good engine for these would... How about this? That seems safe, you know. I can already tell that this is gonna work very, very well. But either way, we'll need some more aerodynamics. Uh, that is much, much too small. That is too... What about this? Oh, god. Way too small. Okay, so I guess I'll just skip on that for now. I'll have these up here. Come down. Add them also right here. Go to the next page. See. Nope, of course not. Okay, now that we have those, I'm going to add an SAS module onto the top. Okay, and it's advanced, that way you can control those. Now, many of you out there can probably actually, like, are really good at this game. Well, I kind of suck, so I'm probably going to do, I'd say, 80% of what I do really, really wrong. Like, the spaceship is probably going to explode the second it goes out there. Kind of like the one in my audio recording for my Razor Sirens. Because this is kind of like that, if I could click. Okay. How about let's call this the... ISS... Die. Because, obviously, all the people in this are going to die. Because I can make really, really good space shuttles. I am never sarcastic. Okay, for some utility, what would we need here? Don't think we need anything from there. I'd say this is pretty good to explode, so let's test it. And by test, I mean just go and kill, like, I don't know, it's like five Kerbals, so. I mean, why not? Only, like, I'll only be ruining a few families. But who cares? They're Kerbals. No one cares about no Kerbal. Okay. <sighs> if this would load, that would be nice. In fact, very, very nice. If you'd load, please... Okay, there we go. Now that it's loaded, I'd say it is about time to throttle. Okay. I'd say this was a failure. Would you not agree? <laughs> yeah, you'd probably agree. Okay, let's revert this flight back to the vehicle assembler. 
Because obviously that did not work at all. So I think I'll add some struts to the side. Like so. There we go. Like that. And then I'll just do that. And basically, I have a feeling nothing of what I'm doing will work at all. Especially if I can't see because there's a um, metal pole in the way. It will also be useful if I could, uh, you know, speak correctly. That would be very useful, don't you say? Okay, now that we have that, I guess we could attach up here to, like, right there. And then attach here to here. That's probably good. Um, so... I say let's test it. Let's see if we don't kill five kerbals this time. I'm pretty sure it's five. I'll check when it when it loads up. If it would load, that would be honestly quite nice. Okay, it loaded much faster than last time. Okay. Of course. Let's see if it doesn't crash. Because I just suck at this game. I suck so much that it makes the game... Oh, yay, it didn't crash. So there is one, two, three... Oh, there's six. So we're killing six people. That's even better. Hey, and it didn't explode immediately when it spawned in. And it's actually flying. You just gotta remember to activate SAS. Well, so far things are going adequately. Let's see if things don't just explode in our faces and then we all die. And by we, I mean these six people. Let's... no, never mind. So, um, there's the crash site from, you know, the audio test. Then my crappy, uh, plane. I don't even know why I'm explaining this, it's pretty obvious. Because everything I make in this game is crappy, but apparently this is working slightly and it's already overheating. Let's see if I don't die in three, two, one. Well, I didn't die, so this is a new achievement. Okay, this is taking much longer than I had anticipated. Probably shouldn't have made this so heavy. Maybe next time I'll go for a lighter, more slim design than a giant, bulky piece of crap. That would actually probably be a good idea. But <coughs> who likes good ideas? <laughs> Certainly not me. <laughs> I actually really like good ideas. And then I make this thing, and then that just throws that out the window. Just goodbye. Well, so this is going up relatively fast, I guess. This is much higher than my last craft, <coughs> as you guys know. I don't think I'll show you a glitch I've encountered yet. I'll do that after this thing explodes into the ground, or explodes in space, or just explodes randomly. Depends on which one comes first. Maybe all three will happen at the same time. Don't even know how that makes sense, but it... Don't ask. Just don't ask. I don't even know. Ugh, but so far this is going well. It hasn't exploded, and it seems like none of these people trust me. I wonder why they wouldn't. Maybe because the last, like, 16 spacecrafts I made exploded in, exp in, in extreme agony. That, or uh, I just left the people in space to die a horrible death. Either way, doesn't sound good for them, but it sounds good for me. I'm just going to engage the thrust because these... Uh, e even if it starts overheating, the fuel should be gone before it fully overheats, uh, so that'll increase our speed quite a bit. And then, right after I engage the next uh, engine, I will move to an angle to... I will move at an angle, so... Okay, and... Okay... You've gotta be kidding me. You have got to be 
kidding me? Oh. Well, that. That was interesting. So, I'd say once again, this was a complete failure for the Kermans. Kerbals, whatever. It says Kerman there. It says Kerbal, I don't know. But either way, this failed. So, I think I'm just going to completely create an entirely new space shuttle. Let's see if it doesn't explode. Well, I guess this didn't really explode. Uh, the fuel tanks just tore off the center engine. That's always fun, you know. Always fun. Okay, so a pod I could use. What would be a good one? I'll go with the most basic possible. Wow, that is so much smaller. It's ridiculous. But either way, this way, my Kermans don't die in extreme agony. <sighs> Anytime now, we're gonna hear an explosion of the other ones dying. So I say... Uh, I'll, if this, ah, I should probably zoom in. Okay, so... If this would like to work, that would be very useful. Okay, hold on. There we go, this should work now. There! It didn't take long at all! Yes, it did. Okay, so... Now... From there, I'm going to put an a nuclear engine. Well, atomic engine. Just because those are very, very fuel efficient. Next, I'll need a decoupler. Where is a decoupler? There we go. If he would come, that would be useful. There we go. Now that we have that, I'm going to need then a pretty large one, possibly. Or I have an idea. So, from there I could put a uh, two orange fuel tanks, so these beasts that aren't really beasts compared to the other ones. I could put these right here, and then uh, their engines could be... How about this? That'd work real well. I already know they don't work very well based on last time. Okay, that's a bit too small, just slightly, and that looks good. And then I'm also, on these sides, I'm going to have... Wait, no, it's an engines. Where is it? Oh no, it is in fuel tanks. If I can find it... Where is it? Where the heck is it? Okay, I'm just blind. I cannot find this for the life of me. Okay... Ice! Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to have this... This on both sides to give it a little extra, um, push. So we'll put that up there, that'll be the last thing to detach. Okay... This isn't going to explode in extreme agony. It's really gonna explode in extreme agony. Okay, this seems good, just I need to bring this down. And get... Command and control. I need a uh, stabilizer. Can't seem to grab things today. Oh, I guess I just suck too much to even grab something. Ha <laughs> ha! Sounds accurate to me. Okay, but next I will need some aerodynamics. I'd say these would probably work well. I am correct. And then this would work horribly. This would probably fit. I am correct. So, that looks good, I guess. I forgot the thing I was going to add. What was it? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Cannot forget this. I need some winglets. 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 It's kind of weird to say. Uh, either that or I'm just stupid. Probably a mixture of me being stupid and me being stupid. Sounds accurate. But this looks like it's going to explode, so this is going to be the ISS explosive. 
Seems accurate to me. I'm only gonna die a little, and by me, I mean like one Kerbal. Kerman. What? I, I just, I give up speaking. But this game does have some quite nice music. It, it, it would just be kind of useful if the game would load when it needs to load. Like, that would kind of be nice, but no, it's too difficult. Come on, please. Yes, finally. Now, so we have Nidve, 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 whatever that says. Wait, okay, so I need to move this down because I forgot to put this stuff in order. This isn't like like leggy at all right now for me. Put throttle all the way up and engage the engines. And engage that. SAS. So this is going much faster than the last one actually. It's it's gaining velocity a lot faster, in fact. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. This takes so long. But if we can at least get like right here, I'll be fine. Even if we don't get into orbit, that would be fine to me. Also, if we don't explode because of overheating. And wow. I hope like the nuclear engine doesn't explode because yeah, it's kind of covered in flame right now. That that looks fine. Yeah. Is this thing is going to explode? It's going to explode a lot. So you see there's a difference from just exploding and exploding a lot. Exploding is just an explosion, but exploding a lot is where you destroy half a continent. I guess this is just exploding though. Not exploding a lot. Because well, I don't think this could destroy even, well, anything near here. Like, to destroy half of this continent, so like, right there, it would have to have so many explosives. I can't believe I just did that to prove a point. Oh, I thought, like, it exploded or something. Wait, are those pieces to my last, um, spaceship? I don't... So, no, nothing. I'm just stupid. But what else is new? I don't know. What is? But this is going relatively well. <sighs> it's just... Wow, we're actually going much, much faster than with the giant engines. Well, I guess these are still giant, just not as giant as those other giant engines. I'm saying giant a lot because giant engines are useful and fuel up. I don't... Wait... It would probably be more useful to conserve fuel, like, so that way it doesn't overheat for one, and that way I can still continue going up for longer than just moving up quickly. <sighs> Does that make sense? Uh, the Scott, the great Scott Manley is probably looking down upon me, saying, man, this guy is stupid. Can't do anything in this game, right? Or you'd be like, I suck. Well, me specifically, not him. Scott Manley is amazing in this game. If you want some, if you want to see someone who can actually play this game without it, everything just blowing up in its face, watch Scott, Scott Manley. He's much better than me. Much, but we are almost out of fuel with these, and we are almost halfway through the atmosphere. So, how about we check out the first-person view? It's. Uh, I've actually uh, flown into space like this before. It was quite difficult. How about we cut the en- Or we could not cut the engines. Whatever. But I've actually flown up to space like that. It was extremely difficult because I forgot to put SAS. But I made it, and then I died. Because, well... I crashed into some debris. Wonder if there's still any debris up here, or if it's already crashed into Kerbal yet. Okay, detach. And what? What, what, what? what? Wait, what? Now, what did I screw up? Because I cannot tell. Um. <laughs> oh, 
I forgot to put uh, deta detachments for them. And I just realized I should probably should have turned a bit earlier. So, okay. Oh, this is gonna explode, I can already tell. See, it, see it's probably a bit too heavy uh, for uh, the nuclear engine, because the nuclear engine isn't really powerful, it can just go really far. And man, that is a pretty large at- uh, no. <laughs> I give up on speaking, it's not a freaking atmosphere. Okay, just slow down here. Oh, I should probably add a maneuver. So, like this, I think, if I can do something correctly for once. Okay, do this, do this, do this, do this. Can I do it? Can I actually do something without exploding and dying? I think I just might. Okay, that maneuver looks good. Wait. This is... Oh! Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, now we're going to come back to here and engage throttle. Engage, engage, engage throttle. In what? I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I, it's not working. Damn it! What did I do wrong? Okay, I got the maneuver. I'm past, I'm past the apple absence. Damn it. Okay. But I can't throttle up. I can't throttle up. Let me just try fast forwarding. Well, let's just acceleration. What? I don't even know. I just don't even know. Let's just watch this thing crash. I mean, that's the best thing to do right now. Wow. Well, it's already burning up. And into the mountain it goes. Three, two, one, and I am a failure. Well, that was a bit late, don't you say? But, well, I'd say this episode was a complete failure of getting up into orbit. But either way, thank you very much for watching if you liked this video, uh, why not drop a like or even subscribe? But either way, I hope to see you next time.